whenever I try to have a freaking simple vlog, something stupid gotta happen. yesterday but because uh, I had BJ with me and we cut about 12 yards it's getting crazy people my weekends are getting crazy but uh we cut about 12 yards and um but I forgot my memory card I left out the house and I was like um I cut the camera on I said we're gonna vlog today blah 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 no memory card of course since we had 12 yards I didn't feel like going back home, so I was like, forget it. So today, I got some extra yards, even more yards that I cut. So um, I got about, well, I got five properties. And like I said, yesterday, the 12 properties, we didn't cut 12 properties. Um, one of them, we just trimmed and sprayed for our bugs. Um, another property, it had some plants that were up under the deck so I had to crawl up under there and dig those plants out but the rest of them I think we cut so we cut about 10 houses we were supposed to cut about nine houses but then I got an extra one because a guy down the street from one of our other properties uh, he um he cut that I mean, he asked us to cut his so um but yeah so on my way to do these, I got one house, I gotta plant some plants, so I'll probably record that. I went there last week, and I planted like 14 plants, and now I'm going back, I think he got about six to eight more. It's just a, this older guy, he got a shoulder problem, so he, uh, you know, he can't really dig like talking about, so he just gets me to come out. It's the same one, if y'all follow me on Instagram, it's that same property that, uh, we, uh, I told you the transformation was like straight dirt. That's actually a funny story. I will tell you right quick. I don't know if I told y'all this before, but he said, if y'all look at those pictures, go to my Instagram, Seth the Line Surgeon, and y'all see this, uh, it's like a transformation before and after of uh, this yard, it's like all dirt, and then it becomes grass, we got grass. But the show tell y'all how they got the dirt, because you saw the dirt was like orange, and it's like clay, right? And what had happened was, he couldn't really get grass to grow in that area at first. So he went to a car dealership. They were building a car dealership in this area, right? And he asked them to, uh, he said, hey, you know, do y'all have any extra dirt that y'all can give me to, you know, put in my yard? I'm trying to get some grass to grow. And people was like, sure, you know, just give us your address. We'll come by with a dump truck and um, dump it out. He was like, all right, great. So while he was at work, they came by with a dump truck and they dumped some dirt out. But it wasn't really dirt, it was like clay dirt. <laughs> so he gets home and that whole part of his yard is orange. And he said before he could kind of get grass to go there, but once they put that clay dirt there, he couldn't get none. So he called me and he was like, man, I done tried everything. You know, this will probably be the last attempt. He said, I might, he said, I might as well try to pay somebody to try to do it, see if they can get some grass to grow. Luckily, he had a whole bunch of things. Actually, two of the things that he had, um, I think helped the most. Um, I rented a tiller. I rented a big tiller. And a 
rear a rear tire tiller, and I brought my small tiller. PJ was using that, and um, what he had, he had there was peat moss. So I did, I didn't really know about peat moss. I researched it. And I found out peat moss what that does it help takes the acidity out of soil. So if you have some hard dirt or some very some dirt high in acidity and acid, then um, you put peat moss in it, but you have to till it into the ground. So he had a whole bunch of peat moss there. We put that down. Then I told him I could get soil and bring it, but he said, well, I could go down the street and get some. So then that way I don't have to pay you to get it or whatever, whatever. And I said, all right, that's fine. So he would take his pickup truck. I wouldn't think he went and got about two or three loads. And each one was a yard of topsoil. But the kind of topsoil that he got was, uh, um, had manure in it. And I had never used nothing with manure in it, so, um, Oh, there's my camera. But yeah, so. So, um, yeah, I never used nothing with manure, and that stuff was strong. Like, you almost get high. Like, it was like such a strong smell, you would get like high. And so we put that down. It took us hours. I, I don't even know how many hours, like a three, three, or, three or so days. I had to come back multiple times. But um, we put it down, and then this year when I went to help him plant the plants, it was the first time he seen it. And that bad boy was green. I was sitting there like, I did that? <laughs> but like I said, I think it was, because I put down a whole bunch of lime myself. I put down seeds, and then I put down put down his peat moss and his soil. And I, and then I tilled that all up. So, some did it. So, anywho. Got a ways. He lives kind of far from my house, so I got a ways to drive. I will see y'all when we get there. Hello. Yeah. All right, people. It's always something. It's supposed to be such an easy day, and um, get to my first job. Talk to my first customer. Actually, I was like I said, I was supposed to go to that digging job first, but I said something told me, well, let me go to my cutting jobs first. Get knocked two of the cuts out of the way. So I get there, go talk to my customer, want me to hedge the bushes. So on my way back to the car, I look at my front tire and it looked kind of flat. I was like, huh. So I inspect it and it got a nail in it. So I'm like, crap. And I usually have my air compression in it, but of course it's in my mag. So, and now this tire going down flat because I decided to uh, leave my, my trailer there. I have locks on my trailer so you can't get the ramp down. So the only way they will be able to get to my uh, lawnmower is if they picked it up. So and it's right across the street from two of my customers anyway. So um, my trimmer's locked up. And so I just left it there, even though I know it's, it's probably you know not the best decision to make, but I felt like if this tire is going flat, I need to be able to, you know, get to where I need to get to quickly to fix it. First thing I'm going to is an auto parts store. See if I can get me a plug kit. I got a plug kit at home, but it's in my magnet. So I'm gonna go try to get this plug kit. This tire going out really fast, and I'm gonna see if I can plug it. I'm gonna find the gas station. And I'm gonna try to plug it at the gas station. Y'all saw in that last couple of well. No, that was on Instagram. I didn't even make a video for that. But I plugged two of the tires on my trailer and they, they've been doing great. So hopefully I'll be able to do this. It's a little close to the wall. People say you, you can't really plug stuff close to the wall. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. And I'll get back to my job site, get home. Of course, it's going to add an extra hour to my day. But hey, that's what you got to deal with. We out in these streets. I actually have a spare tire. I know that's probably what y'all thinking. But a spare tire is like a donut tire. You know what I mean? And this van is already, you know, hauling more than it's supposed to be. So I don't want to like put a donut. It's on the front. So I, I don't know. I'm just gonna do a plug kit. I'm gonna try to repair this tire and keep it moving. 
All right, people, so I went ahead. I just got me a pump because I got one pump and I'll be switching it in and out from each vehicle, you know, when I need it. And I said, I might as well just get two. So I bought me a pump, bought me a repair kit with a pressure gauge on it. But let me show y'all the tire. See how close that is to the wall? They said, don't, you can't plug stuff close to the wall, so. Hopefully this works. I use my pump, pump back up, see what happens. Of course, that last kit, it had two of these tools right here. I don't know why I didn't have this one to put the plug in. As you can see, the air is fastly leaking out, so let me get back to it. Stupid nail. This one, I don't know why I got this one. It comes with a fixer flat. Guess I might could use this on my mowers, I guess. Oh, that is true. I might try this on, um, I got my wheelbarrow that went flat. I'll try it on that. But, I always have one of these. I learned my lesson. I always have a pump in my car. Stupid nails like that. Alright. Let this get pumped up. Alright. Now I'm on my way back. Hopefully my equipment's all still there. <laughs> but uh yeah so what i did was by being so close to the wall for those of you who don't know how that was seatbelt okay. for those of you who don't know how plugs work is basically you take out the nail or the screw or whatever you rough up the hole with the roughing tool and then you put in the plug and once you put in the plug once you drive on the plug uh they uh um, the plug you leave a little bit of the plug sticking out and so what happens is once you drive on the plug it'll smush it down right and so I think that's why they say you can't plug a tire close to the wall I, th it's, I hope it's not because I, I heard some people say if you plug a tire close to the wall it might blow out I hope that's not it but I'm thinking it's because they say that when it's close to the wall it can't roll over itself and you know basically glue the hole shut so what i did is i only pumped my tire up to 20 psi it's supposed to be 44 psi but i pumped it up to 20 because that means it's a little flat and the side walls on the ground so hopefully by the time i get back to this job it'll have secured you know the hole and then while i'm cutting i'll just put it on there because it's going to take forever anyway since the uh you know because it's a freaking um uh, a big old tire a small pump so so it'll take you know at least probably about 10 10 maybe 15 minutes to pump up and i can go cut the yard i'm cutting two yards right next to each other so hope all my equipment's there keep your fingers crossed i've been gone for about 20 30 minutes now so <laughs> all right people coming back up on it coming back up on it all right i see a mustang I see a Time Master. I see a Craftsman's Yard Bag. I see my cooler. And I see two trimmers. Let's go. Everything's there.
try to have a freaking simple vlog, a mild manner, laid back day, something stupid gotta happen. Freaking hell. So, that bad boy's been holding up. so crazy I was supposed to go to the, the house that I was gonna plant the plot flowers at first but then I uh, had to, I want to go to two uh, two houses that's right beside each other that is um, <laughs> that was close you know and um, so I stopped there and if I hadn't if I had kept going to the other house first that was further away who knows how low my tire would have been when I got there my tire was just starting to go low and I think that's because of it uh, you know spinning and the air wasn't coming out of it as fast but once I stopped that but I could see that jump literally going down so I'm like oh crap so luckily I went to that house first because the other house is like real rural it's like way off the main line, main road so by the time I would have got there I would have been like 20 minutes away from any kind of advanced auto. So then I cut those two houses, right? Then I want to cut my, my third house because she's on a schedule. She likes for me to cut it, you know, on schedule or whatnot. Cut that house. And then I get in my car and it's getting dark around the area where I'm supposed to go. I look on the weather. They got a big old thunderstorm coming in their area. But it's not going to be raining over by my house. I'm like 45 minutes away from my house. So... Now I gotta come back, cause I just told him. My thing was, man, I didn't want to get caught out in the rain, even though it's mad gas. I gotta drive way back over here. But I'm just tired, I'm dealing with the tire, and I didn't want to get caught. If it was like rain, if they say it was gonna rain, I usually stay out and I'll work through some rain. But thunderstorms, you know what I mean? It could be one minute be dry, next minute is, you know, I don't mess with that. It's no biggie. I told him I'll try to make it back out in a week. If I come back, come come back out during the week, I'll just come back out next week. But uh, now I'm on my way to my last house. Get y'all some footage. Most of my vlog has been me talking. <laughs> Barely got any footage. Yeah. But anyways, talk to y'all later.
there you have it. A long day and I barely did anything. And it still didn't rain. <laughs> uh, so, I got four jobs done today. Well, five if you count the bushes that I did at one of the houses. Making sure my gates up. I stay leaving them jumps down. And see, like I can't tell it's up if it's up or not because my trail is so noisy. <laughs> so like I pull off and I hear clanker, 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 and I'm like, oh crap, did I put the gates up? But they up. But um, that's the end of this bad boy. It's a long vlog about nothing. Like Seinfeld said, the show about nothing. This was the vlog about nothing. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Yes, sir.